Hi everyone, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for all the support that you guys have given me and for 10 subscribers. Enjoy the video and make sure to like and subscribe. Have 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 a good time. It's my first ever video and I'm basically a history gamer, so I play historical based games and today we're playing Battlefield 1. Uh, this, 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 this video game follows events that happened in World War One, also known as the Great War, and uh, the War to End All Wars, which is kind of funny. So, as we're starting off, we're starting with Through Mud and Blood. This follows an, an English tanker crew uh, fighting off Germans in France. My granddad fought in the Civil War. Before I left, he told me what it takes to stay alive, but nothing could have prepared me for what I saw. New machines of war, like the tank, could sometimes change the battlefield overnight. They were starting. And just, you know, we are playing on hard difficulty. So... Yeah, we heard France fall in 1918. It is late in the war. As winter draws in, the Germans fortify their lines and dare the enemy to come to them. Waves of infantry die, crashing against the German concrete. The maps do not change. Heavily armed and well protected, the British, yep, the British Mark V. For 17th, British forces prepare for a mass assault. Okay, we're going to start this off. Okay, give me to load. That's really cool. His flashbacks. It's traumatizing, eh? Edward. Sir. Down, Jane. Come on. You miss all the fun. Fire! Been looking at your papers. Don't worry about me, sir. I'm ready to do my bit for King and Country. Listen, son, you find forward and reverse when you're told you'll do all right for me. Grab those, would you? Come and meet Big Bess. Woman of your dreams. I nice think. And our new driver, boys. Cool. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 Destroying artillery positions as we go. Yeah, old tanks are hand cranked just to start them up. Cars are still early in the invention. These had heavy armor. But I have been assured there is white women in so you yeah. should enjoy that. So we can save hands, I want boys. Mm -hmm. Boys, do your jobs. Take care of each other. My best will take care of you. Let's bring in the shells. Let's go. Manus. Let's go. Oh, 
there's a British, there's a soldier underneath there. Most of them will refuse to wear his pants, eh? Let's do this. Sorry to say. Listen, we're going to cut down the guns up by that windmill. That, that does not look like enough to assault a full position. It's like 20 men. Oh, I just hit a kid. Yes. 
Okay, so we're here. Still playing. Oh, Jones are back. Let's go, Fritz! Oh, I should win. Let's hack again. That's a goal! You got him. Dude, imagine just being an artillery man and then seeing a huge tank. You're already scared and crap in your pants. And then he just. Okay, we're salting for weapons. Okay, let's go back. It's really, it's fun. Oh my god, is there a tank? Oh, there we go. There's my death. The portents are bad, my friends. But I do not care. I know that I have brave men at my back. And only the enemy in front of me. There stand the Greeks, ready to fight or die. Today, I think we should send as many of them as possible to Hades. Nice. Let's start. Units, at my order! Siege Tower! Siege Tower! Move to the wall! Grab! Grab Move to the wall? Oh, this is a big city. And then... Oh yeah, my ladders. Check on that wall. Uh, there are archers and hoplites. Siege tower. Since my study, oh, I do have some range. Oh, I do have my archers. There and there. And these guys are here. And that's just my troops. Fast forward, but we can get our troops there. Sweet. As you can see, this is a huge, huge tower. Yes, Donnie is going to shoot these guys. Take some caution, troopers. Somebody get over there. Archers get over there. I see where you are. Shoot their archers. No, let's can't do anything. I'm going to these guys to hit the wall. Ooh, are we taking out any of them? Kicks if we have taken out a few archers. These are really dangerous. Okay, we have a shift for the wall. Everybody. This is a step on the path to victory. The towers are at the walls. Our soldiers have reached the gates with a battering ram. Bring them on. 
charge up. And go, go, go. Our are in place, and our men are now attacking. Against courage, what you Scotty, get up the walls, bro. Up the walls. Come on. Shoot them. Get our archers at the walls quick as possible. Up the wall. Oh, this right here. There's our hopolites. These guys are really, really cool. See, with the phalanx, really stupid long service spears, and they basically just stab right here. They only have hopolite spears and shields. Traditionally, Spartan hopolites, which you will be able to see soon once we invade Sparta, they have spears. And a small sword, and a small sword inside. But I see that these guys are the only using their spears. Destroy them! Wait, what's happening? Open up the game, bro. Quickly! Attack! Fire! We're under Get it. Quickly! Are there any walls to get up? Okay, there's no way to get to the walls. So just send them out. Just go back. Yes! Okay, it's open. And go. Oh, yeah, okay. Seating Syracuse. You guys hop up there and go down. What are these guys doing? Attack. Go, 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 go. Attack him! Wait. Oh. And can we pincer that? It looks like we are doing a pincer movement. Because if we can push them off, we can push them off, then we'll have the walls. And we can send everybody to attack in the center. Right here. Wait, Dan, this is a Sparta. Let's attack those. Oh, no, there's my archers. Send them to attack. Go attack these guys. Our soldiers have captured the walls! Now is the time to press on and capture this place. Everybody should move there. We need to go and this. Oh, you can get up from there. Head over there. Now draw them. And I'm going to see if I can pull the flanking maneuver. I said, well, okay, you have right here? This is what I mean. This is the one which I'll see. Oh, my guy's dead. 
Go, get him, get him. Charge! Wait, my king's dead? Okay, that's a faction leader. That is the person. This is dead. Great gods be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! This is a heroic victory! We're yeah, everybody's good. Arms. I don't really think so, because our guy is actually um, dead. This is the final video in my Rise of Liberty series. On this is my sorry, this is my final video on the Rise of History series about the historical aspects. So right here we're doing the Battle of Yorktown as the final battle. So the Battle of Yorktown was well actually more of a siege actually. It was more of a siege. So the siege of Yorktown in 1781 marks the final battle of the revolution. This closes it off. The American and French troops beleaguered the British army at Yorktown. So they kind of pushed him in. There's a few there's a really there's a lot of great books about this. In your, at Yorktown, Virginia. Their final attack began on October 14th, led by French General Com Comte de Rochambeau. Okay, I'm not good with French names. After capturing two British defenses, British General Lord Cornwallis and his 9,000 troops surrendered. Okay, so we're actually going to do the American. Let's just scope this out. Okay, so right here we have their emplacements, all of the British right there. So, squee, smoothbore musket, and the hand motor. Deploy. Hop on the horse. And then, just find out where we have to go. Right there. And. Charge, man! We can see here we have we do have a cavalry detachment. Um, they'll probably be gunned down as well as most of the first assaulting wave. Because that's just how like modern warfare works. You don't want to be at the front of the army, so you don't want to be in the back of the army. So you have to aim really, really high. Um, also, one more point, these, the smoothbore musket, this, this isn't the best rep representation of what it could do. It wasn't that accurate, and the main reason everybody here is lining up in rows like this, and firing volleys, is, well, if we fire at all, if we fire all at once, we gotta hit something, right? So that was our thought process. It wasn't the best, but the Prussians reformed most of it. They changed from fighting as in large columns to just to smaller squads that you see now in modern military warfare. Okay, and it is heading into the night. I, I'm I am playing on cinematic mode, which is very like cinematic mode. It just makes it really cool. Okay, the sun has gone down and the moon is coming up. Okay, it's stupid dark. I don't know if you I don't know if you guys can see. Oh my gosh, got no scope. So I can't really tell. All I know is that I have to fire in that direction oh, I got shot oh there I go okay I cannot see that's where all the smoke goes yeah I have to go that way see the thing as you can see right here the thing about gunpowder 
is it has a it has a lot of smoke so much and the reason I can see here you all probably just see black is because there's just so much smoke so say I was I don't know like a colonist soldier and I'm trying to assault your town right here if it ever gets night and and the British like do a night raid or something the only way I'm going to see is if I just fire block is it is by musket fire okay I just got gunned down Okay, it is back into the morning. I am able to get a better view. Oh, there's a horse. So you can see right here, we do have our cavalry. We do have our cannons in place. Just... Okay, there's a horse. Oh, I definitely overshot that. Make it lower. Um, regarding my shorts. Like the short videos that have taken off because they got because they get seen by a lot more people. Um, oh, my shorts haven't done well, not much. So I want to. Tr I'm gonna try and post more of those, and they'll be if I have if I ever come into a museum, such as the ROM, or maybe if I go to the Smithsonian, which are both really cool museums, and I would recommend going to either of them. Well, which of them you're closer to? Probably both. They're actually very exciting. You can see different things. Oh, it's nice. So, um, say if I, yeah, so I go to a museum, they have one of these. I'll, I'll try and record a video showing, like, what timeline it was used, getting some information for, on it. Which is the ultra bang. Oh, oh, yes. And my next video after this, um, there is a there is a new video game similar to Rise of Liberty, made by the same creator. And I will try and play that. It's is based on World War One. I. Uh, I think it'll tie in well to the historical aspect of my channel. Um, also, make sure to like and like and subscribe. Please, I really want to see if I can get this to 10 subs, or just 5. I'm just fine. And, oh. I mostly post during, on weekends, because I'm busy during weekdays. Please. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. So, we're just gonna try and. We're just gonna use Native American bow. It wasn't really. Well, everybody kinda uses the bow, but. Um, the Iroquois and other tribes, I don't. Just, just so everyone knows, I'm not the best person to represent Native American tribes in. in, like, in the Revolutionary War and Civil Wars. I am not that person. If there's a, there's a lot of great videos regarding First Nations people, First Nations people, and those who came, and those who live in, and then who, then those who lived in North America before all the colonists came. There's a lot of great documentation. Docu, so, yeah, documentaries on the topic. Oh, I can't see anything, can I? Yeah. Um. So I'm trying. We're still trying to solve. It is not the best thing. I'm trying to go to the flanking mode first. I'm just gonna run around here. Hold strong. Go advance.
I'm just telling everybody to just move up. And I will do more videos on Rise of Liberty. Just siege battles. Let's. Yes. Oop. Okay, that's. Let's press that. Okay. Yeah, I will do more videos on this, and I'll also try to make more. And I'm thinking about doing a live stream for my on Rome to our War. Just make sure to make sure to comment if you like that in the live stream. I'll probably just try and work, try and trying to fix up our like trying to fix up my civilization. It's kind of screwed. I didn't do well before, but I'm not that adjusted with um, Carthage and all that. Um. Yeah, don't look directly into the sun. Yeah, blender burst, pirate weapon. You would probably see some colonists using it. It, it's it's basically the earliest shotgun to put it lightly. I'm not reloaded. That's where the carrot. Yes, that can is down. Yeah, you don't want to get up. No, we'll just go full blown officer mode. Saber. Get the foot lock. Slash, start slicing and dicing. Oh, I just want to point out right right now. For most of modern history, with gunpowder weapons, and we'll up washing most of it, including Roman history, the idea all soldiers, most soldiers, had to pay for their uniforms. Actually, all of them. You have to pay for your uniforms, your gear. This goes back all the way to Rome. Like, all the way to the Punic Wars in Rome. Only had the best. Had the best. And this also resulted in a lot of things. Some reason, the wel wealthy citizens and soldiers who weren't the best fighters always had the best gear. Also, put in the comments what uh, era you would like to see me do next. So, like World War II, that would be a nice one to do. Try and do some videos on that. Ooh. And it looks like this will be a British victory. Yep, it was a British victory. The Americans never really got to siege it. So, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. We're back with another history video for the game. It's called. Um, I would just like to thank all the recent, I would just like to thank all my viewers for the recent support that 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 I've gotten. And so today we're actually playing World War One. We're done. The rhymes. Um, this was this was a free game that I got on the Epic Game Store. It is not free anymore. It is historically accurate, it does have historically accurate weapons, and today, actually, we're doing the River Somme. So, so, the Somme Offensive was launched by the British, French, and was launched by the British, 
in the British and French to keep the Germans from, from taking over most of northern France. So it was a it was a, it was a count. So the Germans made they tried to attack to attack, but the Allies were eventually able to stop it. So actually now we will be playing as the Germans with our car ninety eight. Here in the 98, we have our Stadelhangenata, or potato masher, and we have our Fischbatte, or the shovel. This one. I don't know German. If anyone knows German, please tell me what it means. Yeah, I will. I'm trying to learn. Shotgun, or yeah, the trench shotgun, or trench broom, as it was called by Germans and many soldiers, was, was very powerful and uh, it should have been. And the Germans actually petitioned for it to, to be banned after the war. After the war, as we, as we all know, that did not happen, and shotguns are still used. A lot during a lot now nowadays. And they've actually taken off in popularity as but they're still better. Just So, trench warfare, well, yeah, trench warfare wasn't as hectic as this would be. Um, well, except for when the side charged, then it was very. Right now, the, we are we are actually defending. So it's a major charge. Since you, you could you could hear a flamethrower, which were commonly used by the Germans. Okay, so let me just, yeah, so most trenches weren't as neat or, uh, well, how do you say, weren't, like, most trenches were, weren't made of sandbags, but they didn't have stuff like, oh, like the sticks. And scrap metal that was found most commonly in the battlefields of World War One. As you can see, this is an artillery field. In the middle over there is no man's land. Ours. So I, uh, you do have. Car, which is act was actually a very, actually a very good. Oh, uh, which was actually a very useful weapon. It was reliable. It had, it had some aim. But most, um, because this happened. Because remember, Germany was not was the German Empire now, and it was and it was mostly Prussian. And with the Pr and after and after the. Franco-Prussian War, Germany evolved. It had a lot of new, it had more, had better technology, it had, and the general Moltke, not the one who would eventually lead Germany to its death in the war that I am playing a game in right now, but he would actually just, he would believe, he was, but his, but his uncle, Oh, this is the second time. I'm so sorry. About this. Yeah. 
So as you can, is, oh, oh yeah. So the general Molt Key, he he kind of redefined how war was fought. So Amer in the American Civil War and Napoleonic Wars, you would mostly see units. You would mostly see uh, armies marching in great columns and fighting in lines. Sort of looks like sort of looks more. Like, it looks more like you had a bunch of spaghetti sticks drawing on, like just together, and that's and that's what an army was made for. But Moltke, he, what well, Moltke, he redefined it. Now, now Zunit went after his reforms in the military. Uh, units now fought. Units now fought in squads and infantry with artillery, which was actually very good. It was a very neat, which was needed. It was needed, which was needed. Which was needed a great deal because you feel because. Say so I have a bunch of cannons in one end, because artillery before it was most it was small motors and cannons or before the big leap after or after eighteen after eighteen eighty when larger when larger motors were developed unlike this so you had howitzer batteries which were very powerful and you had a lot of field guns which could actually take out tanks and trains too. So, when you have units that can actually fight back against anyone who's trying to attack and destroy your artillery, then you then you actually have a much better chance, and then you have a chance of keeping it alive. And you can actually deal more damage to the enemy and lower their force a significant deal. Gas masks were very important. Artillery. It is a very powerful thing. So, just, and as you can see, the timer up top over here. Hopefully, the mouse will show you. Um, this will this will go on for 30 minutes, but I'm just going to try. I'm just going to cut where I'm going. I'm going to cut. I'm like I'm going to finish this at 10, at like 10 minutes in, or after some big happens. So, just you'll wait. Actually, let's use this. Here we go. So you have the bayonet. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So can bayonet charge, which was very powerful. Well, it wasn't that powerful, but you wouldn't want to. With modern guns, it became ineffective. It's basically, is basically, it, was, it can be compared to as charging, charging um, your cavalry into into a line of into a line of arrows, like into spears. Mm, oh yeah, right here you can see the iron sights. It's actually the like not a new car. Okay, I'm gonna show you I'm out of I'm out of an age. That is sad. So yeah, as you can see in that little engagement over there, 
if you have a trench that is basically as windy unless unless you have the fastest reaction time if someone comes in the if someone comes around the corner you will you will uh, as Han Solo once said well, always shoot first just like always shoot first So throwing grenades was very, it was effective. Okay, so they're going. there and I knew oh that was a bad place see but just me you, you being in a war it was traumatizing me on artillery and shell shock your best friend could have died like would have could have died and you wouldn't be able to get over that war is hell trust me oh, I don't have any friends I do have but I'm, I'm sure that most of that, that everyone has at least has at least some ancestors who have participated in the war. Oh, that guy's dead. Yo, run! Don't. No. That was a that was a So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Have a good day, and just remember, always be interested in history, and remember today is actually coming up soon, so make sure you, so make sure you donate to, and to any of the foundations that help, that help veterans of World War II and pre, and latter wars. So, thanks for listening. Have, thanks for watching. Hey guys, this may, or, this may be your first time seeing me play Bomber Crew. But I do have a video and I really encourage you to watch it. This school shows you how we got to this point. And we're heading back into our game. Just gonna play one more crew. We are a British British pilot force. And we are just gonna load the game that I have for we actually have target for tonight. And so basically this, if you didn't know before, is a World War II is a World War II um, kind of simulation game of a of a British flight corps. And he's this guy's so Edgar. He's fast, but he only has like three seconds of oxygen, but he has good surround speed. He's she, we don't need her. She's automatically off. Uh, Byron three. Yeah. I say we get Edgar flying. Your gear, Edgar is definitely going to need some new gear. Uh, Fleming, you're need, we'll just get basic olive with him. Oxygen, everybody will get a smoke. Gear bottle, you'll get a Some blue gloves. And then we'll just head to our pilot. Yeah, it's similar to an herb guy here too. I feel like everybody should just have this rest to help them. Gloves, yep, these are all good. Let's head to our actually let's head to train. We'll see what's up. Okay, no we don't do anything, so we'll just head to aircraft. What can we get? Ah, let's get systems. Radar. Don't have enough. Any of these, I So we're actually just going to head over to our fifth lodge, see if we can hear either of them. And we'll just get out. Sure. So let's head over to our briefing area. We have enough guns on here. And let's see. 
We have a sub hunt. I don't really like those missions. And we have, yep, pull the battery ammo dumps. And as you can see, that's and that's France. It looks like, but I think it may be the Netherlands. We're going for a bomb. We are going to try and so let's get our pilot. Take off. Altitude. That is basically the best altitude to stay on if you're like flying. Right here, as you can see, everybody looks the exact same. Um, this guy. So, get 50 minutes of floor. So, if you want to go, so if you're at the end here, you can just. I don't know if you see here, but if you click any of these arrows, it will, it will transfer all the foods that I'm pumping. I mostly put ones that burn a lot of fuel. I kind of just switch it. So, like, I switch it to the one that has the lower amount. You can see we have a nice longer aircraft. Four turrets, or four engines, three turrets. Our bombing doors are always closed.
the oven to shut up and we're just heading back to base. It's great. Uh, I'd say that was an overall good mission. Success. Very successful. And we'll just do another short mission, but we're not finish off this video. And I will try and post more of the Rome Total War campaigns. I know you guys like that a lot. Those are my most popular videos. And if you guys have any more suggestions, please tell me. I'm always open to ideas. You can either suggest. Today I'm going to give you five examples going through each of the different time periods that we have in TABS. So TABS, or Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, is a game where you can simulate how battles worked. They may not be exactly the same, but some of the tactics are in play here. So, and without further ado, let's begin. Starting off in the tribal, in the tribal area, we only have, this was mostly a kind of, they were all, they were all just fighting, maybe we're actually going to do two simulations here, we have like, so we have a lot of clubbers attacking a mammoth and spear throwers, so in here they'll try to surround it, it's not much, but like you would have guys over there who would try and like hit it like harder, and then you would have the smarter people who could actually throw snares. So that's that one, and then we're actually going to try and simulate tribe against tribe combats. It was really, they wouldn't really like gather, they would be like, they would be kind of spread out like this, in different formations and ways. Some people you would have kind of like a, a kind of moon shaped, and then you would always have like a lot of spear guys at the back who would like be throwing spears. And then you would also have like a chieftain who would fight. So we do have this, I'm just... And as you can see, I've just fallen. So if you look here, it's it's basically just devolved into chaos. They're all fighting each other. And if you and we're actually losing, so that's actually this most only how it goes because you you would have people who just charge, take out the main kind of infantry force. And that's mostly how it goes. As you can see, also some, as you can see, the clothing is very similar as well. They had the loincloths and not full armor because this right here is hot. But you weren't, you would really have like some bone pieces, but not as much as these people right here though. So our next battle is going to be moving us all the way up to the medieval era. And we are... And I'll be right, and I'll be there in a second. Okay, we're back on the medieval map, and we are going to get most of these battles were fought with some squires and a lot of archers in the back. You wouldn't have a king fight. You would usually have a king with his soldiers in the front lines, and maybe he would be accompanied by, say, a couple knights. You, the Healers wouldn't be used a lot, and and some armies would have differing units, but it was very similar. Like what they would have, mostly just archers and infantrymen, because if, as you can see here, not a lot of these people actually have weapons that are okay. Y'all just shot them. So you can see that everybody has. Not a lot of people have shields which was kind of a bad thing because as you know oh no our king is gonna die oh uh they're both dead um you'd also have this underneath here where this is kind of, yeah this is very not similar at all but having a bridge right here it's like a choke point and having people like over here during the having people near this choke point and kind of flooding it was a very bad idea and we're actually and i'm actually going to show you something what happens if you do put a lot of people on a small area so say this we have a lot of catapults they were used a lot but they were mostly used in cities we're just going to flood this area with a lot of squires and then 
they all walked closely together. Like a little achievement. So they all walked together, and you you wouldn't have just just catapults because that's not a, a good way to do a battle. But say we have like something that can actually fight them, like back here. If you have this, you can just throw it, and those guys are just gonna clean them up easily. You would have some friendly fire, say like that. But in the end, it would mostly just be like this with some units still alive. There would be a lot. And so now we're actually going to do a little time skip all the way up into... Actually, we're going to head back a bit into the ancient faction. So we'll see you there. Okay, we're back with... An, well, we're doing an ancient battle now. So, you would really have, like, shrines and stuff. You wouldn't really have this. Well, you would have some lighthouses. But most of them, there would be, like, a city in the center or maybe a shrine, like, over here. So, we're actually just going to be focusing. Well, we're gonna be, so, over here are the powerful Spartan hoplites. And it would usually be about five rows to make this a bit more historically accurate, it would be about that much, and then four rows. And every man would basically have each other's kind of side. And then over here, we're actually going to have a different kind of army. They would have, I don't know what they're doing there, but they wouldn't usually have like shields. They would have shields, but right now they don't. So we're just going to put uh, shield guys here. Those are, I know that these guys are Romans. Like these guys are Romans with their helmets and stuff. But it's kind of similar. And you'd also have, so we're just going to do kind of like this. And then another really, so they would clash. And if you and you can actually see here that the hoplites they did break formation. If we could have them like hold their formation, it would be a lot better. Because if you look here, they all broke their formation, and then a lot of them just die over here and over here. So like sticking together in one giant line wasn't was like kind of was very common for like Sparta and all and Athens and Thebes and all those on all those cities. Yeah, okay, and if we actually go into a bit more detail about this guy, so he has his nice breastplates, a shield, or hoplit, his spear, and his little crescent helmet, which is very cool. And we're not going to use Zeus or those, but I am, I am going to try and demonstrate the like the, capabil the capabilities of a... Ballista. So we're actually just going to put a lot of Sarissa in just a very long line. And... Actually, let me just try that again. So, here. And then... Okay, so I, I really don't think it's in this game, but you could you could technically fire an arrow and it would like just pierce through an entire line. Actually, let me just try like this, more of a block here, and then we'll just use a ballista and fire. Okay, that's you. If you had this, it wouldn't just like bounce off someone's shield. But this is tabs, so it's not that accurate. Now we're actually.